Welcome back to Thistle Hill Farmstead. My name's Todd, and today I'm excited to do a review of a new toy I've got. It's the Steel RGKM Rotary Scissor Cutting Head. And man, that's a mouthful. Here it is. Uh, my daughter bought this for me for Christmas, and I haven't had a chance to try it out because it's not been warm enough and the grass hasn't been growing. So today I did cut some grass or some weeds, however you want to say it. It's still early in the season. So uh, I did cut some grass and there is an opportunity to use this now around the house. And I wanted to get this because we have um, posts around the house and I'll show you those around our breezeway and around our front porch that if you use the string trimmer, it whips around the paint on the post and knocks the paint off and it's kind of messing things up. So I'm hoping this is gonna fix the, uh, the issue. Let me show you how this works. So this rotary cutting head, uh, scissor head is kind of just what it says it is. Let me open it up here. It's got a protective cover on it because the blades are kind of sharp. I probably should have some gloves on, but I'll be careful. Take the blade off, the, the guard off. And there you go. It is, um, I think you would call this a sickle type scissor. Uh, it works back and forth like this and cuts the grass with a scissor action from this top plate and this bottom plate as opposed to a string trimmer that uh, spins the string and, and whips the grass or cuts the grass that way. So with this tool, you can actually get right up against uh, a surface like this and not damage the surface because it doesn't, um, you, you won't, it doesn't whip anything around. I'm not quite sure how to explain that, but you can go right up against the surface and cut the grass without damaging the surface that you're going up against. Now this is an attachment um, for my steel trimmer. I have a steel KM111R trimmer and I'll show that to you. Here it is, and like I said, it's a KM111R, and it's one of these trimmers that uh, comes apart here at the center, and then you can buy multiple attachments. So here, I have a brush cutter on, and if you guys have watched any of my other videos where I've been cleaning up around the farm here, this brush cutter is great, and it uh, does a good job. There's my string trimmer. And uh, it does a great job also. So I'm not trying this new scissor head because this one doesn't work well. It works great. It's just that when I get up against uh, the post, it's kind of knocking the paint off the post. So let's just walk out here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Well, hello, Charlie. Hey, buddy. So Charlie is here just kind of chilling out. So you can see in the breezeway, we have these posts and here um, where the grass is up against the post you can see where I've used the string trimmer before and it just whips this uh, and even though this is cement board it really does a job on it so you can see there where I've hit it and regard no matter how hard you try not to hit it see there you go it's not the paint off of that you're going to uh, just no way around it. And uh, so we got the poles here. We have them uh, on around the back porch or the back patio area here, which those are away from the edge of the concrete. In hindsight, I wish they would have inset these a little more and I could have just mowed around and not worried about hitting them. And then we have them also around the front porch and these are set back a bit too uh, but you can still see that when I've trimmed here I've still hit uh, the edge with the trimmer uh, so every one of these here is kind of beat up with the with the edge of the trimmer so and that one even looks like I maybe hit it with the mower but um, you can see I, I did cut the grass today, even though it's still pretty dormant. This is Bermuda grass, 
but it's starting to green up and I wanted to scalp it down and cut it. So I did that today and now I'm going to try the trimmer. So I have some areas around here that are high that I can trim. And then obviously I'm going to try it around these poles here. And then there's also some areas against the house here that we have the same issue. If you try to use the string trimmer here against the house, it, um, it knocks the paint off. So we've got a section here and then a section right over here next to where the grill is. So let's, uh, let's put that attachment on and then we'll get going. Isn't that right, Dixie? So to put this on, it's, it's fairly easy. What you do is uh, just loosen this wing nut here on the trimmer, on the motor part, and then your attachment will just slide out. And then what I do is I hang on to these end pieces here, the end caps, and I always put it back on whatever <clears throat> utensil I take off or implement I take off so that you protect the end uh, of the attachment from getting damaged or getting any kind of dirt or anything in it. And then you just slide this on. There's an arrow that should line up with an arrow on the top of the trimmer. And then uh, there's also a notch here which lines up with the notch on the, uh, on the trimmer. So there's no way you can put it in wrong. It made it kind of foolproof. And then you tighten up the wing nut, and now we're ready to go. So let's go try it out. Okay, I think that worked really well. I hope you could see uh, how I was able to go right up against that post there without really damaging the post at all. And uh, those scissor parts don't actually um, spin around. They just kind of oscillate back and forth on each other like that, which is kind of cool. Uh, so I'm going to do some more here. I'll back you up so you can see how it works.
So the only thing I found so far that's going to take a little bit of getting used to is the fact that when you're cutting the grass, uh, unlike a string trimmer, it's not slinging the grass out of the way. So it's cutting it, and then the grass kind of just sits on top of the cutting head. Uh, it's quite windy out here today, so the wind is blowing it away, uh, which is helping. You can probably hear that on the camera. But uh, that is a bit strange that as you cut, it's just uh, the grass just sits on top. So it's almost like you're wondering if you're really cutting it or not, but it is. Here's another section close to the house here. So I'm going to get up close and see if, uh, if you can see how it works here also. So again, that did really good. Um, it's just odd that uh, <laughs> you have to go move the grass out of the way. But I, even with the string trimmer, I usually come back with a with the blower and blow it off anyway. So as you can see, it did a really good job of edging there. And uh, the one thing I did notice is that over here around the corner of the house, 
uh, and, and this is a new construction, so we still have a lot of debris. As a matter of fact, you can see a piece of something here. But uh, over here, there were a lot of rocks. And uh, I could tell when a rock hit the scissor, um, it would make a, a clank, and uh, which didn't sound good. And I'm sure it's not good for the cutting edge of the scissor either. So I, I would say if you've got an area with a lot of rocks, it's probably not going to be good for that uh, for obvious reasons or a lot of debris. So it's definitely not a, uh, it's definitely not a uh, brush kind of cutter see we got some rocks here around the flower bed and uh, so it's, it needs to be uh, or meant for cutting clean grass without any debris in it so I would say that for it and also you don't need to really run the trimmer at a high rpm either I guess you know you just go quick enough or fast enough on the trimmer to get the blades to oscillate and then once they're oscillating it's basically a scissor action so it cuts the grass pretty easy so it's not like you have to run the trimmer wide open either now there are definitely areas where i would not use that trimmer and here's one of them is around our garden we have this uh hog wire mesh here uh, or anywhere you have like a mesh wire because the scissors would obviously get caught in these wires that are here so i'll use the uh, string trimmer uh, around here still uh, when i do this area hello ladies now here is another area where we obviously wouldn't use scissor trimmer is around this kind of wire here because of the same same reason i said over next to the garden on the hog wire uh, it will just the scissor part will just get caught in this wire and i'm sure that would not be good for it right ladies yeah i'm sure you agree so um there are definitely places where i'll still use the string trimmer and that's down kind of this uh, woven wire fence and around uh here on the bottom we have woven wire behind this uh four plank horse fence too and then like i said over next to the garden where we have the hog wire but uh, around the house, uh, that is where I will definitely use it to kind of protect the paint. And, you know, if I think about the cost of that device, which my daughter bought it for me as a Christmas gift, it's still pretty expensive, though. Uh, and I really do appreciate her forking out the cash for that. Um, it's probably the ROI <laughs> return on investment for the amount of trimming I have to do it's probably not the best uh, use of money I guess I could still have worked with the string trimmer because I believe I'll have to look uh, at what we pay but I believe that uh, cutter is around $400 for just that attachment um, so uh, yeah for that that amount of money just to do like around the house here in the front porch might be a little absorbent uh, for that item so uh, I hope that uh, helped you out and you enjoyed this video and it really if you're looking at buying one of those if it gave you some idea of whether it's gonna be worth the money or not uh, I hope it did so uh, yeah give me a comment in the bottom tell me if you think it's worth that amount of money to uh, just have this amount of trimming to do uh, or if I'm being uh, anal retentive about these little scuffs on the bottom of my poles here which I could really kind of fix up uh, for much less than that but again that's uh, that's it for today again thanks for watching and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and remember if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button so that you'll get notified uh, or you can keep up to date with all of our videos and if you want to be notified hit that uh, little bell icon and uh, then you'll be notified anytime I post a new video Whew, it is really windy out today thanks for watching